Well, okay, maybe it's not quite that exciting. Hi, everybody. I'm Principal Evangelist at Kazing, Kevin Hoyt. Now, I'm back today with another cool demo. This time I thought we would build our very own point of sale system. So, the well, first thing we'll need for a point of sale system is a computer to act as the brains. Today, I'm going to use an Intel Edison. Now, the Intel Edison is a great chip. Um, it runs Yocto Linux, so that gives us all kinds of cool uh, operating system level functionality you might not get, for example, on something like an Arduino. Um, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, it has got a lot of processing power and memory all available to you. It's also got a couple ports. And that's good because in order to have our point of sale system, we're going to be able to scan product. So for that, I'll use a commercial barcode scanner. So this barcode scanner um, is something like you might see at the store, usually like sitting in a cradle or something like that. Um, and then it'll be used to scan our product. Now the other end of the barcode scanner is a USB port. USB port is a little too big for the Intel Edison, so we need to take it from the big port down to the micro port that's available for the Intel Edison. We'll do that using an OTG cable. Now OTG actually um, is a part of the USB specification. It allows the Edison to function as a USB hub. Uh, that's kind of a neat little functionality to pack in such a small system on a chip. And of course, this is gonna need some power to go along with it. We get the uh, barcode plugged in here. Oh, here, a little barcode. There we go. Hmm. Micro USB. All right. So we're going to need uh, some power to go along with this. So we'll need a power cord. Now, in this case, you can run the Intel Edison off of battery, but it's not enough to power the barcode scanner as well. So we need a little, a little extra juice. I just have this USB cable lying around. And we're going to go ahead and use that as well. So we'll plug that into here. The other end of the USB cable uh, for our power, it's up here for now, is going to go into the, my laptop. Now, the laptop isn't going to be used in terms of communication for this. We'll actually use the wireless capabilities that are built into the Intel Edison for all this communication that you'll see in this demo today. Uh, the laptop is just providing power for us to be able to uh, to work and you can see here that the uh, the Edison is, is kind of starting to lit up and it's, it's kind of starting to go um, and uh, soon we'll be off to the races now the Edison is capable of running node Python uh, Java C of course and other, many other languages uh, because of that Yocto Linux uh, operating system it runs today I have a Java program running on it that's going to interact with the barcode scanner so let me log into the Intel Edison here really quick Again, this is just happening over Wi-Fi. The Edison, my computer, and uh, are both on the same network. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And I'll go ahead and start the Java program. Uh, the Java program, as I said, is going to interact with the barcode scanner. Uh, the other thing it will do for us is actually look up the product details from the items we scan and also it acts as a Kazin Gateway client, passing that product data in real time to any other system interested in it. So our, uh, our Java application is started, our scanner is connected, our, our point of sale system is connected to the wireless, we're ready to go. So I've got our scanner in hand, the only the other thing I need now is something to scan. So this is Sleeping Beauty. And if I go ahead and take my barcode scanner and hit the barcode on the back here, very gratifying little beep there. Uh, it shows up in this, which is a Chrome browser, so it shows up uh, on the web. And, uh, and in fact, I can actually go ahead and click on the image here, and we can see that it is indeed Sleeping Beauty, just as we scanned. Now, how does it get from the Intel Edison to the web browser? Well, again, the Java program you, interacts with the barcode scanner. The scanner then goes ahead and gets the UPC code. Once it's got the UPC code, it communicates over serial to the Java program. Java program takes that UPC and looks it up against the Amazon product database. Uh, once it's got product data back from the Amazon product database, it sends that on to Kazin Gateway. 
Now, that communication from Kazin Gateway to the browser then is a publish subscribe system. The browser is sitting here waiting for somebody to scan an item and then when you scan an item, it goes ahead and, and the data is passed along to Kazin Gateway. The browser is subscribed for that data, is listening for that data to come in all the time. It doesn't have to kind of pull, pull, hey, is, do you have a, something to scan? Do you have something you scan? It just sits there and waits for it. And so when the data arrives, it goes ahead and renders it. That's a pretty slick little system all said and, set, all said and done. Um, I'll go ahead and remove this particular scan for this time. Um, because it turns out that because the browser and the hardware are decoupled and they're using a publish subscribe system thanks to the real-time capabilities offered by Kazin Gateway, that other systems are going to participate in this process as well. So another system that we might use, for example, is a smartphone. So this is a, uh, an Android smartphone. It's just what I use around the house for testing. Uh, I can go ahead then and start it up and uh, open up my little shopping cart app. Now this is just a custom native Android shopping cart app that I created uh, to be able to scan products using the camera that's on the back. And this is kind of functionality that we see uh, pretty traditionally in smartphones today using the camera for uh, optical uh, processing. I'll go ahead and select from the menu here to scan an item and then we'll go over to the barcode scanner. So then I need something to scan. We'll go ahead and take this uh, Sleeping Beauty disc again, and we'll go ahead and give that a good scan. So I've scanned it, and it shows up not only in my phone's list, but it also shows up in my browser's list. And it showed up at the same time, because again, the real-time capabilities of Kazin Gateway. And they're also decoupled. This phone actually knows nothing about the browser. It actually knows nothing about what's doing the scanning. They're completely decoupled and know nothing about each other at any point in time which allows us to swap in and out pieces. If I didn't want to use the scanner or the Edison and I wanted to use something else, I could do that and it wouldn't impact any other system. If I didn't want to do native here, I wanted to do some other display here, I could do that. If I wanted to change my uh, web technology to some other language or some other framework, I can do that. And they're all decoupled because that's, what, that's kind of the beauty of the publish subscribe system provided for by Kazin Gateway. One of the other cool things here, for example, is that if I take this from this shopping cart and I remove the Sleeping Beauty, from here, it will actually remove it from the shopping cart. Again, these two don't know anything about one another. The shopping cart just says, hey, this item's been removed. And this guy's listening for any kind of events around it, uh, carts being added or removed. In fact, the item in the cart list itself doesn't actually show up here until after the product information has been looked up by the native code and passed to Kazin Gateway. Then it comes back and it shows up here and here at the same time. Let's, let's do that again, just because it's so kind of gratifying. Here, let's go ahead, scan Sleeping Beauty, focus, focus, there we go, boom. And uh, maybe we wanted uh, to have two, so let's go ahead and take our barcode scanner here. Take the barcode scanner, scan our Sleeping Beauty, nice gratifying beep, and there it is. It's in the web browser, but again, it's also in our native shopping cart. So it doesn't really matter what the system is, thanks to Kazin Gateway being decoupled and allowing you to use publish and subscribe systems for this kind of interactivity. All right, so there it is. We built our very own point of sale system. It works in real time. All the parts and pieces are decoupled, um, thanks to Kazin Gateway. Now, if you want the source code for this, you can find it on my GitHub repository. We've also written two different blog articles around how to get started with the Edison, specifically with the barcode scanner, and the software that actually goes on behind the scenes to make this processing happen. We'll see you in the next demo. Until then, thanks for watching. Hi, everybody. Principal Evangelist Kevin Hoyt here with Kazang. Now, I don't remember what I'm going to say.